Hi, I'm Stavros and welcome to T. Nolan and Sons Scania here in Castle Island in County Kerry. Now you may have seen my video from yesterday where I was down here in Nolan's and we had a look around the all new next generation S580 Scania with its flat floor. Well this truck will appeal more to big fleet buyers, a very economical truck. This is the all new R450. So this is a, has a straight six engine, 450 horsepower. So I'll show you all around the truck today, all around the interior, and then we'll get hooked under a trailer and we'll take it for a spin out on the road. So let's go. So we'll start off with the looks on the front of the truck. Really is a striking design from Scania here. And they have focused an awful lot on aerodynamics and getting panel gaps as tight as possible so there's far less fuel consumed and it's more aerodynamic. And we have our spot lamps here at either side of the grill and our sensors on the windscreen here, uh, advanced emergency braking and your rain sensing wipers. And you'll notice we have no sun visor above the windscreen. This is an option now, so it doesn't come standard anymore. But it is costing you fuel to have it. <laughs> it's a tiny amount, but it is. Um, so it's a nice striking design here. We have full LED headlamps uh, all around. The only lamp on this is on the catwalk at the back. That small little lamp that lights up the catwalk. That is the only bulb that uh, isn't LED outside. And as we walk around, I'll just show you the lockers which have increased in size. Oh, we'll just have a look at the S series here. That is the truck with a flat floor. I will be driving this at some point in the future. Maybe not this one, but a similar S series. So it was great to see that. All day yesterday, people were looking at that. But we will continue on with the R450. We will open up the locker here. And the locker here, great space in this locker. And we click it down. And even the quality of closing this door, you can really feel that they've put a lot of work into quality, even the sound of the door closing. Nice, and it's even softer and quieter than the older model. And the actual door feels lighter. Maybe it isn't, but it feels like it is. And we have a nice door design here with your speaker and the trim around the speaker and our Scania emblem here, which is very nice. And you'll see the steps as well have better grip on them for climbing in and out of the cab. But the seat controls do look the same as the old model. These haven't changed, but literally everything else in the cab has changed. Just the seat design in this particular truck is the same as before, but it is different in the S-Series. And you'll also notice as well that on this model we have the same battery box as before. So the same design and the same mud guards as before also. And this one does have the add blue tank in the middle of the chassis. And we have two fuel tanks at either side. And the, the wind deflector on the top of the roof can be, you twist the handle here and it goes up and down for your different height trailers. So that is the passenger side. And you'll see the seat here for the passenger has almost all the same controls as the driver. Heated, can be heated and cooled. And some very nice features for the passenger. So we will hop inside now. Just before we hop inside, you'll notice the lower profile tires on this truck. These are a 70 profile tire, whereas on these trucks, they are an 80 profile, so 
low profile tires on the front of this so we will climb up inside and this particular model comes with a leather pack so you've got a leather on your door card here and full leather steering wheel here very nice design and very nice to hold as well and we have our flat bottom here on the steering wheel on this particular model and Scania at the moment does four different style steering wheels and if we look at the driver's seat here nice design fully uh, finished in leather and we have our armrest on either side and in full leather with the Scania emblem in the headrest and if we swing around to the top bunk this feature here I think is very very good you have a button here you just press it and the whole top bunk just falls down very very good and then press it again and your top bunk stays up and we have a fold out ladder here so you slide that up and you can climb up into your top bunk very nice and slide that down and click it back in on the bottom bunk here we have USB connection and interior lighting switches here and our reading lamp and storage here in the side wall now on the passenger side here you notice there's a window so that is very good for drivers pulling out of junctions it gives you more visibility outside and that's a very good safety feature to have and if we move on to the dashboard here we have a fold out table very easy and quick to fold out and slide it back in so you notice the dashboard has been designed to be a bit lower so this aids visibility outside the windscreen and also we will have a look at the drawers we have two drawers slide out drawers here and your two cup holders storage in here and here and there and also a cup holder here and storage at the side and the door pockets also have storage in them so we'll swing around to the fridge so it does have a fridge on this side so nice sizable fridge and on this side we have a storage compartment so you can opt to have this as a fridge if you wish but on this particular model you have your storage compartment and fridge uh, so we will move up to the lockers so you've got a lockable locker on this side so all three lockers above the windscreen are all a very nice size very spacious and they all have lights inside and this one above the driver's side and you'll notice the red lights around the interior as well give a nice effect at night now we're going to sit down and have a look at the dashboard so it is a very clean design and Scania has focused an awful lot on quality and you can actually see it is very very car like in the design of the dashboard we'll turn on the ignition now and give you a look at the new display so it's very nicely laid out and clear display we have our rev counter on this side along with the add blue gauge and your temperature gauge and big display here in the middle and our speedometer and our fuel gauge so we have all the different driving mode functions here we have economy mode standard mode power mode and they are all controlled with by this switch on the steering wheel so they were previously located on the stock here but Scania has repositioned them to the steering wheel so that is a nice improvement on the previous model so we will move over to the stereo all new stereo design big screen here all your controls at either side 
two SD card slots. So one is for mapping and one is for your multimedia. As we move down to the climate control functions here, your night heater switch on this side and all your lighting functions here and your lift axle switches there and your traction control and differential switch. And we have two USB slots, one there and one here. And also on the passenger side and your 24 volt socket and one under there with another red ambient light. So over here we have our panic alarm switch and our reversing buzzer switch and our battery isolator switch. And over here we have our advanced emergency braking switch and your lane departure warning and our hill hold function and our hazard warning switch. And this is operated um, in conjunction with the cruise control. You can switch off all your interior lights and your dashboard lights just by one switch and all that's left is your speedometer. Um, so a very good function there. And of course our handbrake and you have your switch here for adjusting your steering column and all our controls for the different mode functions for the stereo and answering and receive and uh, hanging up on phone calls and different mode functions here for your display going down through all the different menus and your cruise control button is right there and moving on to the door area here so you've got very very many switches here on the door area so you've got your usual uh, all your mirror functions can be operated here electric mirrors and your light switches here and your fog light and spot lamp buttons there and locking your door and the new door handle design here very easy to grab that door and hop outside so and there is your new column stock here for your exhaust brake function on this particular truck. So the new grille design is in three sections now. You have your middle section that opens straight up and then we have our two outer sections that open out on either side with our cab jacking bars here and one on the other side. So Scania has focused a lot on, ke on keeping labour costs down for maintenance. So a couple of examples are that this coolant bottle can be easily changed now. So there's less parts to take off. And also this bar for changing a radiator. This bar is only three bolts at either side. The bar comes off and it makes accessing a change of radiator easier to do. And we have new cab bushing design here as well and the cab itself is on a new suspension system so that is the grill and the radiators are positioned lower also so keeping everything nice and comfortable on the front axle so we will close that up which is very easy to do and we also have a new new design fold down step so it makes very easy work of climbing up and cleaning your windscreen and nice grab handles there also so we'll now hook up under a trailer and take this truck out for a spin let's go So we're just using our remote control to hook under our trailer. So we have our level control here to get underneath the trailer. We're 
all hooked up now and ready to go in the R450 So Porsche engineering were involved with the initial stages of development with the all new next generation Scania and you can really see their influence throughout the dashboard and of course they did press upon narrower panel gaps and aerodynamics so I can tell straight away just by driving it out of Nolan's yard here just how smooth the gearbox is and you can feel you can feel the comfort even on the front axle because the front axle has actually been moved forward around two inches and the front axle is a new design itself and the cab suspension is has been redesigned also so we're just pulling out of Nolan's now and I can already feel how quicker the gear changes are 45% quicker than the previous model so this is going to benefit us greatly climbing hills where you will lose less momentum going up the hill because your gear changes are ch changing faster and you will lose less speed going up the hill and the comfort is absolutely fabulous So this trailer has 18 ton on board so it's a good test for this R450 and see what way it pulls on the hills. We're just traveling now at 30 miles per hour and we are revving in at just over 1200 rpm so hardly tick over in a car <laughs> but uh, in the truck here it's maximizing the amount of torque available. So we're in ninth gear now, and this is a 12 speed OptiCruise transmission. And pony and cart there. <laughs> oh, the comfort, even over those bumps, there was absolutely fantastic. So we're just approaching a roundabout now, and then we'll be climbing that hill just outside Castle Island. So we will see how this truck performs. Come away from the roundabout now and we're just climbing this hill and you'll see now we are in eighth gear 1300 rpm 25 miles per hour and we're still on auto standard mode so standard mode eco mode so it's a balance between the two between eco and power mode if we change down to power mode we can knock down the gear manually down into A the gear it'll hold the gear the gear revs a bit longer and we can flip up again and we're in ninth gear again just coming in under 1500 rpm at 30 miles 35 miles per hour so if we put our driving mode into auto power now you'll see the display changes blue and we can knock it down the gear again and we're coming up near 1900 rpm at 35 miles per hour and back into ninth gear so the truck will actually know when it needs to go back into normal auto mode from the amount of revs that are coming in through the transmission and we're back in auto mode automatically and we can also go into eco mode if we wish 
but we are still climbing the hill so you can see the way it switched there automatically over to auto mode so that it's maximizing the amount of torque available so we've 2350 newton meters of torque in this 12 speed R450 and that is developed between 1000 rpm and 1300 rpm so we're going to move over to the right hand side of this lane and turn around and go back down the hill So we're just making our way back down the hill now and we definitely will stick it into eco mode. So you can definitely feel how much faster the gear changes are, 45% faster than the previous model. And we have a lot of weight on board, 18 ton. So we are just literally rolling down the hill now. The weight is pushing us down. So this truck doesn't have um, an exhaust brake on the floor. It's actually situated on the column stock here where it would normally be on a truck fitted with a, a retarder. So we'll see how it performs going down the hill, this exhaust brake. And we also have a two-stage, so the exhaust brake is a two-stage system. So we will knock that back up and that's actually doing very, very well. I don't want to over rev it, so I will just press the brakes slightly. If I was in the truck with the retarder now, I wouldn't have needed to press my brakes at this point. But I just don't want to over rev the engine. So I'll just keep it around 1900 RPM. And we're getting a bit fast again and apply the brakes and off the brakes. So it is performing very well for an exhaust brake. That is quite strong. So you can see the exhaust brake now coming on automatically when I apply the brakes. This will save on brake wear and on tire wear as well. So you have an option to have it coming on automatically with, with your brakes to aid braking power or else you can opt to have it without where you have full control of the exhaust brake. So we are just going to make our way around this roundabout and make our way into Castle Island. So we're just coming into Castle Island now. Make our way through the town. So the sitting position for the driver has been moved 65 millimeters forward and 20 millimeters to the window. So this gives you a lot of visibility outside of the windscreen with the dashboard set lower and the mirrors are a vast improvement especially the wide angle ones up at the top um, they're larger and give you more visibility and even coming up to junctions now I can see the extra visibility I have being able to see through the mirrors so that is a big improvement over the old model. As we make our way around the bend here and up the main street in Castle Island. So a lot of you may have seen the launch of this all new generation Scania 
it was held over at the Grand Palais in Paris. The CEO of Scania, Henrik Henriksen, unveiled it to over a thousand invited guests. So it was a big occasion and uh, big celebrations for, the, for this new truck because Scania were over 10 years developing this next generation truck. So a huge amount of work and testing and they destroyed 40 trucks in crash tests alone to make sure that this is a nice and safe truck to drive. And it's also available with a curtain side airbag just above um, the window here. So if the truck does turn over, that airbag will deploy and protect you in an accident. And there's our friend in the <laughs> cart again, pony and cart. But um, so that's a very nice feature to have in a truck. And as far as I know, it's the first time ever a truck has been fitted with a curtain side airbag. But the comfort in the truck is just absolutely fantastic. You can feel it over the bumps here and those quicker gear changes. So fuel consumption has improved by up to 5%. So we're getting absolutely fantastic fuel consumption and this truck can easily get between nine and 11 miles per gallon. Now, of course, it is lacking in power to the V8, of course, but the 450 is still a nice size of an engine. That was a nice drive today in the all new Scania R450 next generation. I'm very, very impressed. <laughs> this is a game changer. It has moved on in terms of fit and finish and quality. Um, very, very impressed. And the visibility outside the cab with the narrower pillars around the windscreen and the mirrors redesigned just make it even better to drive. So that is where I'm going to leave you today, but I just want to give a mention um, about Cannonball Ireland. You know the supercar event. It's a three day event that takes place every September in Ireland, all supercars driving around routes around Ireland. Well, this is their DVD. Cannonball Ireland DVD. So you can buy this online at cannonball.ie and you can see plenty of footage. I have a couple of videos up myself, but they will have even more footage in this DVD. So cannonballireland.ie to purchase that for Christmas. So, and I just want to show you Nolan's recovery truck. The last time I was down, this truck was off to get resprayed. But there it is, all finished and looking absolutely fantastic. So that truck is now 26 years old <laughs> and Nolans have done a fabulous job in respraying it and giving it a new lease of life. So I do hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching and I will talk to you all in the next video. So until then, take care. Cheers.